I want you guys to understand something very important too. FaZe and Banks have every right to be super emotional. What you guys are about to see right now, Sunday, April 1st, this is the day, like these, this is like, this is when Tifu signed, got signed with FaZe. Look at these graphs. Only gets to keep 20% of the revenue from branded videos and stuff published on Twitch, YouTube, or social media. What? There's no way. That means... If there's no way FaZe is taking 80%, right? Of his YouTube revenue? There's no way. Um, I mean, it depends on what's signed in his contract. Well, that's the thing. Like, was that not... Okay, wait a minute. Like, was that just not discussed at the very beginning? I'm trying to think of when he signed to FaZe and when he blew up. Well, he said he signed to FaZe way before, like, right when he was blowing up. said he signed April 2018. Um, yeah, Tifu start, started blowing up hard, like, June, for March, April, May, June. I mean, if... Probably, like, July, August. Like, really, really getting big. Apparently, I mean, it says... I'm reading the same article. It says that he tried to terminate the agreement in September, claiming that FaZe breached their deal. But according to the group, they rejected the termination. And he's still bound by contract. Wow. <clears throat> Yikes, man. Yeah, it's legit though. Like on this on this website, that's millions he's lost out on. Uh, dude, yeah, eight, if, I, dude, if it's a twenty eighty split, that's eighty <laughs> percent, bro. I mean, the only frame of mind I would be that you would ever sign that in is if like your soul blow up is coming from phase when it's. I mean, Tifu was already growing uh, and he was starting to get a pretty big, pretty big following. But I mean, bro, phase blew up Cloaksy and like. I agree. It's one of the the only orgs that probably blows players up that in that way because it has in the past. Boom. Like Cloxy was not. I mean, they, they both really weren't getting like ridiculous viewers. Hello. They had like banks and a bunch of other you know all these top base creators who were like you know tweeting them, telling everyone about them, retweeting oh, clips. Like banks has a lot of of pull on Twitter. Like it gets really good interaction. Boom. I just I can't I can't believe eighty percent, bro. I can't even wrap my head around that. Like, I, I'm just wondering if it was flat out like, hey, this is gonna be a twenty eighty split, or if it was something in the contract he didn't see. That's I'm assuming it was something like the second because he's suing them, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure it was probably was just like, hey, uh, you know, I just want the contract. Listen, I'm gonna tell you right now, ninety nine point nine percent of people sign contracts with organizations before actually getting them reviewed by a lawyer. They, you are you are like legitimately usually getting you know I mean you're getting the the for pardon my French the shit end of the stick about about ninety five percent of the time when you sign with an organization. Um, it, it's it's really. I believe from what I've heard, hundred thieves is and there are other orgs that do do this as well, but hundred thieves is pretty open to allowing people to pretty much go out and get their own. And the issue with organizations is, is you are, not, okay. Like, like, let's take me, for example, on, on, like, you know, LG. Like, we had a pretty decently open, you know, uh, relationship with sponsors and things like that, but let's say I was approaching Red Bull and Luminosity was approaching Monster. Like, I 100% couldn't have gotten Red Bull because Luminosity legally could be like, that's a conflict of interest of our sponsor. Right, and, and because you were under and, them. And, and I'm under them, like, that. it, it, it uh, precedes whatever, you know, whatever I want. Yo, Tim, advice uh, for male pattern wanted, baldness. Just embrace it, bro. You know, he's sponsored by McDonald's. Or McDonald's reached out to me, and that, but Luminosity was approaching, or, you know, any other organization that I was on was approaching Burger King or about to do a deal with, you know, literally anyone at all that isn't. You can't, like, it's conflicting. You can't do it because these sponsors who are approaching, the, uh, you know, FaZe and all these other companies, they want the people and the players underneath that organization to represent them as well. That's the whole point. They want the packet. They want every single phase member. They want every single TSM member to be rocking, you know, Razor or whatever the company is 
So it's very, very difficult for for very talented and very big, massive YouTubers and streamers and competitive players to, to really actually be happy usually under an organization. Uh, like once you kind of are bigger than just being a competitor, like that's when organizations usually don't, you don't benefit that well from that much. From, like you'd be better off on your own because like, and, and Tifu definitely hit that. Like, I mean, but it, it, again, it really is that like, like, it's like, did it, you know what I mean? Like it was, the face helped out so much for sure. So it's like, that's kind of one of the things where it's like, dude, you know, phase is a big part of what, of, of, you know, of the explosiveness and the growth. So it's like, I mean, to be fair, that, that, that close percentages are nuts. Yeah, yeah, 80, 80, 80, I'm not just, I'm not justifying the percentages. <laughs> I want to let everyone know that. That's unbelievable. Oh, it's right on me. And my, my thing is, I'm wondering if it's, eight, do you think it was 80% of everything he made? Or do you think it's 80% of think, what phase can bring to the table? That's my I think thought. I think it's 80% oh. of everything. I, I just don't, I've never been a part Besides, of an org, so I don't know how it works. Like, do they yeah, get... Yeah, that's different. There are rumors that FaZe has, like, pretty, you know, aggressive... I mean, in FaZe's defense, like, the like the org, bro, like, they have, like, like FaZe is, like, a clout... You, if you're on FaZe, you're immediately, like, legitimately contracted wow. FaZe. Like, Pog. That helps you out oh. in, in more ways than, than you know, anything. Phase, like being on phase is huge, right? Like, so, God. I mean, yo, full power right here, by the way. Eighty percent of everything Twitch revenue oh, included. No, not a chance. I, was, I, I, I don't know how orgs work, man. I don't it, know if that may be a it, thing. It, it, if you sign the contract, it's possible. <laughs> so, like, I don't think he's suing for the money, though. He's not suing for that money back. That money's gone. Like, all the. That's true. The eighty percent of all that revenue he made in the last year, <laughs> since he's been on phase, that all that's all gone. The, what he's trying, what he's trying to sue for, is basically to get out of it now, and then eventually, you know, he'll be able to start making all of his, 100 percent of it. That's nuts, dude. That's tough, dude. I hope Cloak's contract ain't like that too. I would. I mean, I would assume it's the same. Why would it be different? That's, that's like the thought I had. I just would hope it wouldn't be. I don't know for his sake. That's wild, though, bro. Tim! 20 bucks from JT. Read the bottom of the article. Where this is gonna this is gonna turn out to be very interesting. You know what I mean? What's up, Drama Alert Nation? Oh, dude, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna yeah, dude. They're, 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 I'm on a little chat with a bunch of people, and they're already like, "What is happening?" It's gonna be crazy. Apparently, Cloak just tweeted big stuff on the horizon, so I wonder if it was a similar situation. Probably. I'm assuming... I mean, if they're friends, I'm assuming that they're sharing, like, the same lawyer, maybe probably making it a dual case. At least that's what I would do, split the cost as well. That's insane, assuming, manager. I mean, like, you, in order to be like, FaZe probably has massive lawyers, man, and if you're going to beat them, like, you're going to need... Dude, that's the thought I had, man. He's going to try... Like, I'm assuming FaZe is he's, like... 100% he needs to beat them in court. FaZe has great lawyers, so he's going to... I mean, he's going to be paying 100000 probably, depending on how long... What's up, by the way, Marcel? Good morning to you. Top of the morning. Yeah, oh yeah, morning, Marcel. Hi, baby. Uh, Marcel, you've been muted this whole time. Has he been talking? Uh, he's been no, chilling. He's been he, he, he said hello. He said hello when he came in, and then he's just yeah, yeah, yeah. I just didn't have anything to say because it's like you know, as you guys are just going, going off, popping off. Oh. It's, That's it's millions very, of dollars. It's very, very interesting, you know. Oh, you know, millions, but probably like. You probably like. I mean, if that's, million, uh, bro, if that's 80% million. of everything he's making, that he lost a lot. A oh, they lot got him with the money. old classic machinima contract, huh? Yeah, I mean, dude, that, that's the thing. Like, a contract's a contract. Even if it's unfair, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I got two fulls, by the way, Fear and Marcel. Okay. Oh, thank you. Like, you signed it. It's... it's so, again, like I said, it, it's, you know, yike. Yeah, it dude. can't be 80% of everything, though. Ha, 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 ha.